Oh man, here we go. We're back. I had to bring them back. It's a lot going on in this in today's world. Y'all love hearing from them. Charleston White, how you doing? Already, it's a lot going on in the world every motherfucking day. Yeah, yeah, mm. yeah. Every goddamn day. Yeah. Now we woke up today. Breaking news. Um, uh, a guy who was really known in Jacksonville terrorizing shit. This videos. Uh, rapper Julio. He was Julio. A demon. He was a real demon, and he professed to be a demon. He himself said he was a demon. He said it out his mouth? Didn't y'all hear songs and shit? I, I went back and listened to that boy. I listened mm. to his lyrics. Hell yeah, he would say that. On Demon Time. Uh, Yeah, hell yeah, man. Shit, yeah, he said that. Mm. When, when you seen the news today, were you shocked? Uh, No. Shocked for what? <laughs> Nigga worked hard to get... <laughs> yeah, yeah, that nigga there. Uh, yeah, no, nah, that nigga there. It's like a motherfucker go to school and study hard, and end up becoming doctor so and so. You ain't surprised. Ten years after graduation, that uh, Dow Nguyen became Doctor Nguyen. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So now, nah, man, that nigga works hard, just like them doctors work hard to get their doctor. That nigga works hard to be a G nigga to get in the streets, my nigga. Uh. And, uh, yeah, nigga, hell yeah, he earned that. You and him have previous back and forth, and, and now if you go look on YouTube now, people are commenting on that now, yeah, where he, you predicted something would happen. Yeah, um, you know why are, I said he was somebody to go kill him? Because he said he'll slap an old nigga. See, he was the first little rapping nigga, to, to, like, threatening to do something to me. And, and, and remember, I made a video, I think, on her. I said, God damn it, man. They think I'm 53 years old. And they in their early 20s. So imagine these the little niggas, homie. Uh, these, these the little niggas uh, that, that'll beat up the drunk old nigga at the store. Knowing he drunk. Yeah, homie, these the, yeah, these the little kids that I used to stop in the projects from throwing the rocks at the bomb niggas, nigga. Man, y'all leave him alone, homie. Why y'all throwing rocks at him? So when when he said he slap, he'll slap me, uh, yeah, that, nigga, you ain't never slapped nobody at the you. Mm. Uh, well, at the time, I didn't know he was a gangster Julio Fulio that he was. So once I start doing my research, by him saying what he'll do to me, uh, I was able I was able to meet the the little kid uh, Bibby's father, so it, it connected me and Bibby's dad, uh, another victim of, of of another another family members, of uh, the victim's family. So I connected with with, with little Bibby's dad uh, by him. So that was the good that came out of it. But uh, even after that, homie, so I paid very close attention to that young nigga. Uh, listened to his lyrics. Uh, nigga, he wasn't a representation of light. He wasn't a representation of what the Muslim niggas call shahada. He wasn't what we would call a, a nigga that can walk with Christ. He was a demonic, satanic figure. He laughed about it, and he even had the voodoo shit. So nigga, he believed in witchcraft, and he believed witchcraft protected him. Nigga, one thing about witchcraft, witchcraft... Ain't nothing, can't nothing protect you, nigga, from pussy when you when you pursue pussy. So, my nigga Derek Cherry, man, star motherfucking running back out of Dunbar High School. Been to the feds, ain't no five time. My nigga told me, my nigga, he come home from the feds and say, nigga, uh, this was five, six years ago. He said, say, Blue, you know how they go get you. And he tell me this at the halfway house. He said, money and pussy. So, nigga, I don't chase money and I don't chase pussy. If I can catch it <laughs> now, and yeah. But, nigga, I ain't from down, sad, hut, chasing pussy. And, nigga, I ain't chasing money. I'm a purpose-driven man. So, nigga, my mother told me before I ever got rich. She said, son, you got to have a vision that you pursue. Because you can't put the provisions before the vision. You got to put the vision first and then the provisions follow the visions. Well, what's the provisions? The money. 
She is so now, nah, homie. So uh, I listened to that little nigga lyrics, and 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 I watched his interviews, and and when he and and when they give him that pirate nub, when they shot him last year, and 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 not give him that ugly foot, nigga, give him that platter foot, nigga. He wasn't talking how a nigga supposed to talk. Uh, that done saw death as close as he done seen death. Uh, he liked the nigga. How can I describe this nigga? He liked the nigga on death row. They keep saying, Julio, Julio, tomorrow is your time to get electrocuted. And he wake up tomorrow, they give him his last meal. They walk him to the gas chamber. I mean, electric truck, strap him down, phone ring. Brrr. He got another repeat. Say, man, they just saved your life, man. Man, you think a nigga, man, you know how, what that can do? So he like the nigga who keep doing that and nothing changes about him. Nothing. You never soften up. You never say, man, whatever voodoo, witchcraft, doctor, God that's been protecting me, I submit. You don't do none of this, my nigga. Oh, yeah, nah, ain't no surprise to me, nigga, because I know you ain't walking with the light, my nigga. You can't be, nigga, where well, you done done your people. Another thing that you said that, that stood out to a lot of people this morning was the Holiday Inn. Nigga, please. Nigga, Holiday Inn. Nigga, you might as well f*** in the bushes. <laughs> nigga, what kind of hole you got want to go to the... Go to the house. If that nigga had some top notch hoes and some quality bitches, I swear for God he'll still be alive today. <laughs> nigga, you play. Man, them hoes want to go to them high rises up there. Man, a nigga can come from anywhere and knock at the holiday end door. Nigga, please. Nigga, listen. Boys and girls, listen to me. Uncle Charlie go to the motherfucking hotel where as soon as you get there, it's a white boy or somebody bothering you about the keys called valet. <laughs> I say, you ain't ready for to come in shooting at them valet hotel. Cause valet men go stop you. Yeah, they at least gonna get in the way. No, the Uber driver can't pull up without the valet nigga bothering. So nigga, if nothing else, the valet is the, it, it puts a little layer of protection around you. Nigga, you don't go to no motherfucking holiday in a bitch or fucking the holiday in. She'll fuck outside the car on the trunk. Just get somewhere. So now, nah, my nigga, so that's the number one mistake. Uh, number two mistake, nigga, you got too many holes around. Nigga, you got too many bitches around. And you done let everybody know, man, I'm doing something I don't never do. Now I'm getting drunk. Now, you've been getting drunk. We just don't know it. But nigga, you can't be drunk with that pirate nub. You see how quick I jumped up with two feet? Nigga, you see, and then, nigga, I can pivot. You see, I, I just pivot with them two, with them ten toes. Man, a nigga with one foot, five toe, and the other gone. Man, it can't take too many people shooting at him. We got to chill. He's supposed to have that foot sitting up. Resting, wiggling his hips. That nigga supposed to have strong hips. Nigga stand off that foot, my nigga. That nigga supposed to, be, that nigga supposed to learn hip exercises. Say, <laughs> man, pumping that motherfucker. Yeah, man, that nigga was tripping. But, nigga, he went out like a G go out, my nigga. So, let's salute him, nigga, for, for the one that, that salute that shit. I don't respect it. I think he got, he, and I think he was a demon, my nigga. So, so now, nah, homie, God can't let them nigga live forever. Cold as this yeah. nigga's hearts be. Yeah, I think when y'all when y'all see rappers, y'all think you know all these rappers are rich. And, and Julio, Julio, he told me plenty of times before that he wasn't rich. I mean, he was. Getting I know 2, they 000, ain't. Two thousand here for a feature, maybe fifteen hundred, maybe five bands here and there. But I, man, man, Charleston, man, nigga ain't getting no edge up. You know, nigga ain't having no one. Man, nigga ain't getting no. He ain't getting the edge up. Man, these niggas ain't doing nothing differently. So, homie, if nothing else, homie, money change you. You ain't finna get no bunch of money, or you're not finna get more money than you had at this level and stay the same. You're gonna change, buddy. So, I can tell these niggas ain't having no money. That's why I be saying, nigga, your favorite rapper ain't living like me, nigga. When your nigga ain't now one of these rapper niggas flying, getting booked, you don't see this shit, nigga. So, that's why they think Uncle just be talking. 
But no, my nigga, I came to, uh, nigga, God sent me. No, nigga, God sent me to uh, assassinate these characters and these images. Oh, uh, nigga, and when we assassinate the character and the image, let's look at this man. Is this a man that's walking with God or the devil? That's why I can say crazy shit, my nigga. Because when you get when you attack the persona and say, okay, Charleston, stand from behind that character you playing. I can stand erect as a man, my nigga, like a soldier. I've been working with children for the last 12 years. I've never been accused of sleeping, raping a woman. I've never been accused of hitting a woman. Nigga, I go to spewing out some shit as the man. Not the character. So now, nah, nigga, that, I don't have no bad feeling about what I done said. Yeah. Um, on his IG story, um, he threw a, yesterday, he turned 26 years old. He threw a pool party. I sure um, hope he got some pussy before he went to hell. Because normally the devil let you have, yeah, I sure hope that boy got some pussy before he went to hell. Boy, that be fucked up. You wake up dead and you got the account. Cause I don't, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't think it's like in the movies how they show it. Yeah, I don't think it's like that. Cause yeah, yeah, but now nah, go ahead. What you, I'm just thinking out loud. Go ahead. Yeah, but I mean, a lot of people are pointing out too that he was posting his location. Um, you know, a lot of people knew um, where the pool party was at. And then, you know, after that, he went to the club on his story showing his location. Then he's with 20 other people showing their location. Uh, you told me to stop doing that. I did. The last time I did that, a nigga came in the barbershop and hit me in the head. I posted my location. I gave, I, I, I gave them niggas a drop on me. You told me, come on, Charleston, man. I'm saying, man, nigga ain't gonna do nothing to me, nigga. That's the cockiness. That's the arrogance. Ego. Uh, E e e that's the cockiness, that's the arrogance that feeds the ego to make the ego say, well, but I listen, homie, but uh, I, I, I stopped doing that. You notice I stopped doing that. Uh, because you get comfortable, my nigga. Uh, the love. Nigga, as long as I was getting all the hate, nigga, I was a tactical nigga. The love softened the nigga, homie. Mm. Uh, the love make a nigga, man, yeah, homie. So he had a lot of love. Uh, so when I look at that little nigga, homie, uh, he, he, uh, he was a demonic force. And, 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 And he was scared. Yeah, he, he was scared. The last time I saw him get shot, homie, his last, he was scared. Because whatever, whatever dark entity, whatever dark force that was using that kid, uh, it had his heart, it had his mind, uh, which ultimately it has his soul. So the, the components of your soul is your mind, your will, and your emotions. That's your soul. So when you listen to him and look at him and watch him, homie, his soul was dark. My nigga, they showed no empathy and no compassion for the mothers. Uh, I've never seen nobody, uh, I've never seen nobody make mockery of a dead person like him. That's where I got it from. Mm. So how the f y'all gonna be mad at me? Nigga, I got it from Julio Fulio. I just didn't say it. That's why I was so drawn to him. That's why I was so drawn to him. I've never seen nothing like that. So I went and took what he did and said, they like this, let me give it to them. And they ain't like it when I did it, my nigga. That's why I hated that little demon. Cause when I was yelled, my nigga, y'all loved him for it. Homie, I've never seen nobody go to the graveyard and do that, man. I felt so bad for them. My man, fuck that nigga. Y'all love this shit, but here I come to do it. I'm wrong. So nigga, fuck y'all. I went looking for the mothers and the fathers. That's how me say, what's up, baby daddy? 
Nigga, that's how I got connected to Bibby Daddy, Dobie Mama. Nigga, fuck the rap, nigga. Nigga. So, but it's just like me, homie. I'm just a vessel God using. With all my flaws and all the wrong, homie, I'm just a vessel. He just a vessel. So when God get through using us, I'm saying, come on, God, man, why you making me curl? I don't want to do this, God. Nigga, you think he ain't saying that to the to 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 the, the entity? It won't let you go. God, why you want why I gotta curl, God? I wanna be a rotten motherfucker sometime. God won't let me be rotten. He got the dark entity that won't let him be good. It won't let you go. They say God pick us, homie. We don't pick God. He was chosen to be dark. God didn't pick him. So I'm sorry that his mothers and his parents got to hear this, but homie, they know they've been watching him all his life. They know this is something dark. It's a dark force inside this kid. That's why whoever was praying over him put the voodoo thing over him, my nigga, to offer some type of spiritual protection. So I'm looking at him, homie. He looked as scared yesterday. Because if you don't never hear me saying, say, y'all, here I am, but I'm deep. I got 20 people with me. Nigga, I show up saying, nigga, I'm by myself, y'all. No security, no nothing. Because I ain't putting everybody life in jeopardy with me, my nigga. If the target on me, leave the target on me. Y'all get back, my nigga. So, no. Scary, coward-ass nigga. I saw the fear in that little nigga, Sean. That's why he kept saying how deep we were. Nigga, the Grand Reaper won't you? <laughs> say what the grand say. <laughs> Don't put us in it, nigga. The Grand Reaper wants you, my nigga. And when it's your time, nigga, you can't tell the Grand Reaper, hold on, my nigga, let me say goodbye. Now, nah, come on right now. And shit, nigga, when it's your time, it's your time. The, the craziest thing about this story is Young and Ace's brother, uh, they were all in the car together six years ago. Young, three died, Young and Ace survived. Um, and they're the 23 click or whatever. Um, yesterday, three people, four people were shot, three survived, one died. Hallelujah. Oh, it, it's the same thing that Hallelujah, he was told him the whole time. Lord. So you think his mama and them ain't celebrating this boy's death? Homie, I never knew Julio Fulio existed, my nigga, till I saw that video. I ain't know, homie, we could do it like this. I didn't know we could do it like this, my nigga. That's where I get this shit from, nigga. Nigga, it hurt me. That phone call, y'all just seen me ignore. That's my nigga who just buried his daughter. She was killed in college. She just graduated nursing school from. Now, while she getting killed and they buried her, I'm online doing an interview playing like I beat women and it's okay to beat women. And I gotta get off this shit, homie, and go explain to my niggas. Now, come on, man. I gotta, man, come on, my nigga. Come on, my nigga. But they make me have to play like this, nigga. Cause they don't wanna, they, nah, they, this is a hypocritical culture. Should nobody be crying for Julio Fulio, my nigga? We supposed to be celebrating that God and took a demonic force that was so cruel and so rude. <sighs> Man, nigga, make my knees bend. So, uh. Yeah, you, you said earlier nobody should be sad. Homie, he went out like the G's want to go out, don't they? But nigga, they all go out slipping. They all go out slipping, my nigga. Because slippers count. When you outside of your purpose. See, when you in purpose, you can slip all day. Boom! Say, nigga, who hit me in the head? God damn it, nigga, say! Because I'm in purpose. Because I'm in purpose. Because I stay in purpose, my nigga. So, um, uh, go ahead. <sighs> Homie, our kids got to see, nigga. Wrong. Wrong ain't never reigned supreme. K 
King Von dead. All of them gonna die in this matter, nigga. And Unk still cut. This is this fucked up culture saying, you next, Unk. I'm saying you a lying motherfucker. I ain't done wrong to nobody. I ain't caused no hurt to nobody, nigga. Sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. Them niggas shooting bullets. And I'm shooting words. And y'all think I'm going to reap the same energy of bullets and words? And I'm talking to gangster niggas. My words is strictly directed at gangster niggas. I don't bother nobody else. That's why they want me. I put the target on me, nigga, so they can come out the neighborhood. Stop shooting up the grandma in them houses, nigga. Catch that nigga at that hotel with them hoes like y'all did. Salute, my nigga. Don't catch him at home with mama and them, nigga. Don't catch him at walking to school. Catch him how y'all caught him, nigga. Salute. Keep it in the streets. And they kept it in the streets. Salute, my nigga. Yeah, I, I believe his mom was shot too. Uh, Keep it in the streets, nigga. Mama ain't got no business out there that time of night, Sean. Yeah, no, 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 no. I'm talking about a few years back. I think Fulio's mom got shot because of the the current situation. That way, nigga. That's that's right. Don't shoot mama no more, nigga. Catch him out here. Don't go by mama house. Don't go by grandmama house. Catch him out here, nigga. You know where he be? Chasing them hoes. Them kids sleeping over there. Catch him out here, nigga, at them white folk club. That's how the gangsters play. Did you see the aftermath? Did you see the Don't give a damn to see it, nigga. I don't want to see it. Because if I see it, I got a curl. Mm. I didn't watch George Floyd die. I didn't watch George Floyd die, my nigga. What's inside me wasn't going to let me look at it. I ain't never seen it. So it's easy to say, F that nigga. I ain't gonna look at the aftermath, my nigga, for what? I don't wanna connect to that nigga. I'll catch his mama's story later. Like I count the other mother's stories. Our last interview. Let me say this. Oh, oh, you got it. Gucci man did everything he can, man, to try to save them babies. Gucci did everything he killed. See, when you a boss, you can't come explain. You can't come give no explanation about nothing. You just don't speak. I ain't know he put that little we have. The reason Channing wasn't with the label because you can't keep getting high. They try, we, we can't. So they really trying to help. He really just homie. So we got to let that be known. Well, how you know, Charleston? That P from QC. I talked to him. We been bonding. And the burden, homie, of what's on his heart as a black CEO it going up against this, what we call the Illuminati. And you're trying to protect your artists. You're trying to keep these out the hood. Homie, you're doing what you can. You're doing what you can with what you know. So we wrong to think they ain't doing what they can, homie, to try to protect these. They ain't got no insurance policy. Who want their cow to die? When I need this motherfucker. Plow the field today. Now, my so I can't watch my cow lose weight, kick mad cow disease, and I just sit on the porch and not bring no aid. So they've been bringing aid, homie. So that nigga P called me up, my nigga. We had a long talk, but we had a talk from admiration, respect, lack of understanding, and seeking to understand. That was that's that was the starting line. So the nigga said, homie, because I respect you and what you say, I know Gucci. I watched the transformation. Uh, and not to put their business out there, not to air me and his conversation out, but he he poured into my heart uh the struggles of the black CEO, homie, and why they lose the artists, why we don't see no more Barry Gordons. 
homie, uh, it's set up for us to lose. It's, it's designed for us not to win and for a nigga to still win uh, against all this and still bring black artists. So, homie, uh, we wrong, y'all. Because, like I told him, homie, I said, my nigga, I'm just a nigga in the stands. I got a good seat in the stands. Hollering down on the field. Say, man, you should have ran a sweep, nigga. You didn't. <laughs> yeah, I'm in the stand. Say, coach, what the f you doing? Ref, that ain't no fire. I got that. I'm in the stands, though. Telling me so I ain't on the field. So, nigga, uh, me and the P brought me to the field. And let me come down on the field. And yeah, nigga, so, uh, now nah, Gucci. You all right with me, my nigga? Yeah, and, and like I was saying last interview too, a lot of these artists live a double life. You don't know, you only know what you know. Like, that's what, you don't, that's what P said, homie. Uh, rest yeah. in peace, Lil Marlo. Uh, yeah, rest in peace, Lil Marlo. Uh, P had no idea. Uh, Lil Marlo was a beast in them streets. But the people in the streets would think P knew. But Marlo not being on it, lying to the big homie. Goddamn, nephew, you doing what now? Big homie, they lying on me, huh? Oh, um, no, nah, Uncle ain't did. With a straight face, looking nigga right in his eye. So, nigga, I'm going to believe nephew. So, I'm going to go out with nephew. So, that's what I'm telling nigga. Nigga, put the target on you, my nigga. Put the target on you, nigga. So, uh, and that that's what I saw. This gangster who been talking tough, who been selling this shit to us, nigga, just hours before death, I ain't see my nigga walking like no real nigga supposed to walk. I saw fear in that nigga, scared, just like a little boy do. It's me and my niggas. It's me and my crew. We 20 deep. Every video, he kept saying how deep they was. Every video, I said, he's scared. It's something in your spirit saying, nigga, it's time. Tupac made a song, nigga, death around the corner because his spirit was talking to his soul. His spirit, that spirit, homie. So I see it, my nigga, the nigga was scared. Nigga, when Tupac was looking up in his, man, he, Tupac know he fucked up, kicking that little nigga in the head and that nigga was a killer. You done did what, nigga? I ain't done that to nobody, y'all. I ain't never put my hands on nobody, my nigga. I ain't never kicked no nigga, man, I ain't done that. So I can walk with a boldness, and nigga, I can be fearless, nigga. I can be fearless, cause I don't have to look over my shoulder over things that I've done to my people. Yeah, homie, so, oh, uh, that's why I'm so bold. Yeah, uh, the Gucci man shit, man, um. Yeah, homie, we wrong. Uh. Homie, you can't, my nigga told me, this why, I, this why I remove a lot of niggas from around me. My nigga say, nigga, you got piranhas for pets. And the difference between a piranha, he don't know what's food and what's not. He just hungry. Anything you throw in the piranha, it's going to eat it. If you put your hand in it. So the piranha can't tell the difference. And most of us niggas with money, we keep piranhas as pets. That's what happened to 6 9 You feeding the piranhas. You feeding the piranha. They can't tell the difference, but what's, nigga, they, yeah, you fool too, nigga. You got, so nah, homie. So once you got piranhas as pets, now you got your head in the alley, in the lion's mouth. How you eat your head out that motherfucking lion's mouth? Because if you snatch it out, oh, it's going to get you. Now, once you realize you got piranhas and pet, you look around, now you got your motherfucking head in the alligator's mouth. So how can you ease out, nigga? Because once you stop feeding the motherfucking piranhas, nigga, you become food now. So, homie, boy, that's some fearful shit to sleep knowing that. So, shit, nigga, I'd rather die alone. Than to have piranha's pets. Mm. Um, a lot of people are mad at. Well, results came out that Ryan Garcia uh, was caught cheating. 
Yeah, I knew he was cheating. I just didn't want to say it. Yeah, but but a lot of people they're they're still mad at they're mad at Devin Haney. They're not pointing the finger at Ryan Garcia. It's like they're Devin mad at Devin Haney. Devin Haney, I'm mad at him too. What you steady crying for, nigga? You clearly took an ass whooping. That performance enhancement, nigga, didn't have nothing to do with you doing this. Nigga, you wasn't moving from them punches. Nigga, he could have been swoof, past your motherfucking head, nigga. You been training, working out. He was at my house, at my mama's house, eating Lay's potato chips. Bullshitting. So, nigga, fuck him. Man, nah, homie. I'm mad. I'm with the people. He crying. It's making him look weak. All that, my nigga. But, but wait, don't you, I mean, don't you want to be on an even playing field? In a combat sport like that, an even playing field is money on the line, legacy on the line. You're, you're That's undefe- why, nigga, can you imagine the slave nigga used to beat the white boy like that? The black nigga used to have to fight the white boy. The white boy be full of all the enhancements, nigga. Everything against the nigga, and he won. Jackie Robinson, and he won. Do I remind to remind you, nigga? A nigga let a, a, a Mexican with can't nobody beat a nigga. What's wrong with you niggas? We always been at a disadvantage, nigga. That's why the white man come with more than one white man, nigga. They don't never just come get you by themselves, nigga. So, so what? You at a disadvantage, nigga. We been at a disadvantage, nigga. Steve, Steven Jackson spoke out about it, Man, too. Man, don't tell me about that weak ass, nigga. Fuck him. He crying for a lifetime suspicion. Say, homie, niggas in prison my size got to go in and fight niggas bigger than that and win. And win. Say, homie. Man, these, these weak niggas, these weak niggas, homie, can you imagine what the black people before us, the disadvantages and the barriers that they used to put before just for it to be foul? And you complaining about, oh, some niggas run through that Mexican with that mother PhD shit in him, nigga. I know some niggas will beat that brakes off that goddamn, say, come on, tank. You think Mayweather didn't have to whoop them niggas, my nigga? That's why they put Conor McGregor over there. Everybody juiced up to be the bad. So if you really bad, do like the rest of the bad niggas before you and come up and win, nigga, and you couldn't do it, son. I don't know. Floyd Floyd made uh, Manny Pacquiao get drug tested. You got damn right. Because Pacquiao, hey. Listen to what you said. Floyd made. Come on, my nigga. Floyd made. See, when you a bad nigga, you make them. Don't talk bad because you know how to box, nigga, and you can't think. Sonny Liston was a bad motherfucker, but come on. You can't think, boxer boy. And you crying and you whining. Say, nigga, okay. They going to erase the mark. It's just like when the judge say, hey, jury. I need y'all to act like y'all didn't just hear that. You think the jury go unhear what they just heard? Mm. Your legacy is already scratched, my nigga. If you don't think them white people put that motherfucking Mexican in order to do that to you, nigga, and the rest of you, nigga, with them perfect records coming, nigga, you think they ain't finna do that to y'all, nigga? This ain't your sport no more, black boy. Black boy. Boxing ain't your sport no more. Hala la vida, Mexico. Ain't your motherfucking sport no more, nigga. Hala, have he he la Mexico, nigga. So going on over there, tough ass nigga. We want the SA, this is our sport. Y'all got boxing, y'all got basketball, y'all got football, nigga. Shit, God damn it. Y'all ain't for the have this. Y'all had it for too long. And y'all ain't strong no more, black boy. You crying. You supposed to be able to whoop anything and anybody. Like the niggas before you did. That's why they couldn't duck nobody. They had to fight every goddamn body who put the get through the channel. Okay, next. Okay, next. These niggas get to pick and choose. Okay, give me him. I want him. We gonna do a weight claw. By the time me and this nigga fight, he dehydrated. 
He thirsty. They send a hole to the hole. Nigga, it, nigga, everything is designed for the great nigga not to be great, but you you ain't y'all. Man, let me, let me quit talking, my nigga. <laughs> Father's Day just passed. And I noticed a lot of a lot of men on Father's Day felt as though they don't get the love that women do on Mother's and Day. And they shouldn't. They ain't earned it. I got a lot of love. I got it this year. I got it last year. Uh, I got it 10 years ago. Nigga, when I was a daddy with no car, sleeping on mama's couch, nigga, on Father's Day, I got a lot of love. That was the, that was the life that used to breathe me back. Nigga. Raise your head up. You a daddy. When you walk to the mailbox broke, nigga, and come back in, that little girl saying, daddy, daddy, daddy. And I was just gone 10 minutes. You niggas talking about you niggas don't deserve f your line crying for anyway, nigga. Go slap that ho. I done paid the bills all year long. Knock shit off me. That nigga, I'm gonna tear up the card that I gave you, nigga. But don't come online crying, nigga. Yeah, young scooter. Um, he posted that he he didn't see no commercials for men. Um ain't supposed to be. Nigga, granddaddy and them didn't give a damn about that shit. Nigga, granddaddy. Somewhere in them woods and been dead three days. Don't nobody know he been dead. He didn't give a fuck about no fuck. That's you new niggas that get pedicures and manicures. Nigga, granddad didn't give a fuck about that shit, nigga. So why should you? I keep telling y'all, nigga, the real man don't get no rewards till he gone. You mm -hmm. want to be man. You want to be daddy. You want yours on, yeah, no, nigga, you don't get it. Because as a father and as a presence, they can't celebrate you, nigga. And you got you the one telling them what's wrong, what to do. You whooping ass. Who gonna get you a card, nigga? Who gonna go do you? Mama, mama let you lay your head on them titties. Come here, baby. It's gonna be all right. Daddy say, boy, get on up, get back on that bike. I told you, I told you what to do. You act like you can't hear me. Mama go get on there and damn repel it for him. So nigga, why, what you need something for, daddy? You get yours in the casket, nigga. And that's where you should get it at. Don't look for it here if you a real man. Mm. Mm. Yeah, that's them Rudy Poop niggas, my nigga. They want to be treated like mama. Then carry the baby then. Go carry the baby for nine months. Go through whatever pain a woman had to go through, nigga, to get treated like her. Then, nigga, wake up in the middle of the night. Because I know how you say, man, baby in there crying. Man, go get the baby. You're not going to get up and get it, man. In my head, I'm saying, man, I'm tired. But you can't say it out loud. Man, you ain't going to get it. So you try to shame her. To, man, go get the goddamn baby, man. You bully her because you know she's scared of your respect. You, so you bully her. When it's time... To go and roll the kids in school. And you have to take a day off of work. Who making a sacrifice to do that? Mama or daddy? Who? Mom. Nigga, when, when a nigga scared? Who do a nigga holler for naturally? Who did George Floyd holler for before he died? Mama! Don't give a f about daddy, nigga. What is you talking about? Juneteenth. Um... Kendrick Lamar had a, a concert, brought together the whole city. All the gangs came out. All the gangster rappers came out. Um, it was Kendrick and friends. Um, set the city on fire. Set the internet on fire. Um, but yeah, I mean, you lived in L.A. for a point in your life. All the gang members came together that day. Does you does that change the, the L.A. culture? Do you feel I, like that's I, I, a, I a change did, to come? I never. I didn't. You. I didn't hear you say. Uh, and I listened, cause I, yeah, I didn't hear you say nobody died that night. It was no fights. Because when we come together my mama house, we don't fight, we don't argue, we don't fuss. So, so what, uh, uh, so what that he brought together a bunch of criminals and thugs that's a part of a criminal enterprise. So what he brought them together? That they all came and danced <laughs> yeah, for a motherfucking video you, shoot. You crazy. So? So what he did that? 
When they go back, they still die and kill under the same conditions in the rules that they over there dancing to that song for. So who gives a f he done that? Who win? No f body. So no, nah, nigga, I don't give a fuck about Juneteenth. That's a white man holiday. I used to celebrate Juneteenth when the white man didn't give it to us. Mm. Nigga, it meant something when the white man didn't stamp it. Now the white man stamp it is commercialized. Fuck, I give a fuck about Juneteenth for now, nigga. And I'm a natural born nigga. My grandmother was a slave, nigga. Fuck, I, man, I don't want no white man day. So now, nigga, I celebrate June 20th. Yeah, ignorant nigga day. Why are you celebrating so this day? To be ignorant? Because I don't want to join in with the black people that's happy about Juneteenth. Man, man, it's so belief. So you think, you think with the Kendrick concert and everybody coming together, as time goes by, same shit happening. Gang shootings, drive-bys. Man, Kendrick did that for a video shoot. He didn't do that to bring niggas together. Them niggas just found, niggas, they just found something to dance to. No, while, no, no, no. And why I'm saying that is because he, he let a lot of up and coming LA artists perform that night. They ain't going nowhere. Ain't nobody fit to listen to no bunch of up and coming LA artists, but LA people in their neighborhood. Don't nobody want to hear that shit. Nigga, nigga Kendrick, nigga, listen. Let me just say this. Drake way better. Drake way better rapping. Nigga, I know Drake's song. I ain't never heard a nigga in Texas pull up bumping Kendrick shit, nothing. Nigga, we like much as I don't like that nigga. Nigga, you heard me who I, nigga, I ain't, nigga, come on, my. I was just going against the grain. But come on, let's be fair and clear. Man, Kendrick can't come powder. Unless you like twisted your fingers up like the retarded people. Yeah, that's the only way you go like Kendrick. You got to be retarded with the crib, die mood. Sensible people don't gravitate to that bullshit. So, so what? He gave these up and coming artists a spotlight for the day. Most of them will be dead by tomorrow due to the gang politics. <laughs> California, Compton or whatever you want to call it, homie is not vibrant. So why would you go shoot somewhere where, nigga, nothing grows here, everything dies? For what? I think it's pretty cool to be um, that also level of a upper middle class kid, so you don't know what cool is in the ghetto. No, 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 no. I'm talking about Kendrick. I'm talking oh. about the level of stardom, um, the level of stardom, and you still come back and you and you let a lot of up and coming artists in the city that you grew up in perform and get a and get a spotlight they probably will never get ever again. I think that's I tip my hat to that because a lot of other artists wouldn't do that. I tip my hat to it too, like a mother. But uh, when, when I look at the destruction that they're gonna do when they get through singing and dancing at this one day, I put my hat back on and said, man, f that shit don't mean nothing, nigga. He just did that for the video shoot. Yeah, and I've gone back to my building, nigga. <laughs> yeah, once I tip my hat and think about the totality of this shit, man, please let me put my Fuck a hat back on, man. Nigga just did that for the video shoot. Fuck that shit, my nigga. When them niggas go kill each other tomorrow. They can't cross them lines tomorrow. So, so what he did that? And half the niggas he put on stage and gave that light to, I guarantee you he ain't gonna sign them because they ain't that good. He just did that to shoot the video for the day. The rest so of them gotta you say, go back so, to the ghetto and, and do what they do. Do this So do basically this you saying, So basically you saying Kendrick used them. You got damn right. That's exactly what I'm saying. I use po dumb too all the time. Ain't nothing wrong with using them dumb po motherfucker shit, nigga. That's how I tell. Then I tell your son, try not to eat food while we got the dumb po nigga. We stand on these dumb. Don't treat the dumb po nigga like that. But you got to use them, my nigga. And there's nothing wrong with using your dumb po nigga cousins. Just don't misuse. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I tip my hat again for I'm using <laughs> using them dumb. <laughs> Let me stop. Let me stop. <laughs> Let me stop, <laughs> Um, now you know the the Bobby girl, the white girl that does interviews. I don't know her. You never seen her do interviews? She did Drake interview. Um, 
You said a white girl. How? What? What? Why would I look at this white girl? It's you know what I'm saying. She's a person. She's a personality on the internet. Um, her name is Bobby. I, 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 how you said Victoria? Yeah, you don't know who that is. Well, you know, she was invited to the hood you said yesterday. A white girl, like I'm supposed to know who a white is. I don't. I mean, little yachty was weird to me. How the. F I uh, man, how I'm gonna know a white girl name? She did she interview Mo three? Uh uh. Uh, do she know me and Rainwater were beefing? Nuh uh. How the fuck I'm gonna know her then? She ain't in the nigga shit. She's not. Wait, I'm, how, in, how? I'm, I'm submerged in nigga culture. So, uh, I'm, I really didn't know who Funny Marco was till I done that interview. Nigga Carlos Miller had to call me on the phone. Say, hey, man, you know I ain't know who these niggas is, homie. I'm nigga. How how was Yadi weird to you though? Didn't you hear me ask that nigga how long he been rich? Yeah. He was out of touch, my nigga. Yeah, he was out of touch. You, that's in there. I mean, how long you been rich, my nigga? That nigga fucked me up. Oh, uh, it's some things that you say. I be saying, man, my nigga out of touch. He been rich too long. Mm. But then I got to think, homie, you don't really come from a destructive culture. Two-parent mm -hmm. home, you come from love, sports. Uh, your parents kept you in extra curriculum. So, nigga, you don't know the motherfuckers you interviewing. You're just intrigued by this shit like I was. Me and you the same kid. Mm. I just came and joined these niggas, homie. But uh, I wouldn't know who no motherfucker white girl is named Bobby, and she don't open up up to let niggas see it. That's the only reason I would know about a white girl like that, there, nigga. If she over here with this porn, but that, they don't know about no uh, white girl personality. Mm. No, Bobby too. Shit, no. Yeah. What What was the experience like with Yachty though? Was it cool? Yeah, real cool. Uh, yeah, my heart. Uh, I I don't feel sorry for him, but he out of touch. Uh, he 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 don't know the struggle, homie, of mm. his people, and he. The millennial, rich or poor. Yeah, so that's, that's he he scared me. His logic, and and, and so uh. Yeah, yeah, he scared me. <laughs> uh, with this Trump thing, I mean, I know this Trump is getting next to a lot of rappers. Homie, he been next to us forever. He's been next to us forever, homie. You saw me when you first interviewed me, homie. I come through maggot out. You saw me at the motherfucking store, how excited I was to have them motherfucking ugly ass Donald Trump socks. Hmm. So, homie, as far back as I can remember, 1977, I was born. Nigga. As far back as I can open my eyes and look into the entertainment world, Donald Trump been standing with the rap, nigga, the black entertainers, homie. So he ain't doing, he been doing this. And he like black people. He done dated some black people, like black prostitutes. So don't let Stormy Daniels and them fool you. He just like black people on it. The one that was at the Playboy Mansion, he don't like the ball. The ball pussy go still. Yeah, yeah, the ball pussy go still. That's how Julio Fulio got set up. A bunch of balls around. Got to be some Harry pussy. Don't do this. Uh -huh. Harry. It got sense, wisdom. That's why they let it grow when they going through something. When them hoes want to go abstinence, they don't say they put them hoes going through it. They on their period. They got niggas that they can think clearly then when that her growing on that pussy. They different kind of women when they got her on this show compared to when this ball. I'm telling you, my nigga. It's all science and nature. Huh? At least a landing strip, guys. At least a landing strip. Yeah, every time election is around the corner, presidents get close to rappers. Why is that? We know the influence they have. Never before have a Republican president tried to get next to a rapper. That's the Democratic game. Mm. Don't nobody else want to fuck with Trump. He a convicted felon, but the rappers, y'all tripping, nigga. Nigga got 35 felon and motherfucking conviction. He, he done come with his kind of I'm with my kind now. Come on, let's hang out, guy. Can't none of us tote play no pistols around here. So he with his nigga. 
He been trying to tell y'all, man, I'm shit. Come on, my nigga. Oh. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, homie. Uh, they telling us uh, that that's what that's my secret sauce to my success is because I got in politics first, uh, and, and, and I was a devout student of, of political science. Uh, I just naturally, yeah. So politicians rely on the uninformed because 95% of people is uninformed and don't know shit about the politician or uh, half the niggas saying don't vote for Trump don't understand that there's uh, uh, three branches of government and can't name the three so nigga that's why I just play dumb and stupid with niggas yeah I just oh, I, I, talk loud, loud, loud. I won't even let nigga get nothing out cause mm. I know niggas just talking they don't know shit nigga you read the 48 laws of power you don't know shit dumb ass Hmm. So the, the 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 Republicans have never that's the that's the Democrat slave master game. The Democrat slave master, hey, I never go get Nat for me. Go get Nat Turner. Nigga, Nat Turner was the best nigga you could find for he revolted. Nat, tell him what that scripture is. Slaves obey your master. So they always got to get them a Nat Turner, nigga. Willis was the nigga, I keep telling y'all. So this is the Democratic slave game. Trump just f***ing with anybody and everybody. Anybody and everybody. But he doing it from a capitalist standpoint. The other party is doing it from a socialist standpoint. Come on, y'all. Y'all come over here, man. We're going to give you government entitlement. We're going to give you a free voucher where you can buy your car. We're going to help you get your house. Well, that means the government is now overseeing me. You want me to come back over here so you can oversee me. And the Republicans saying, hey, listen, we cutting them food stamps in two years. You just had another baby? Say, y'all, don't give her no food stamp. Cut her mother food stamp. Kick her off Section 8. Matter of fact, send somebody over there to make sure there ain't no man living there. Because hmm. we don't want, because now, because we can use this money for something else. So that's the Republican Party. Okay, we're going to give you food stamps. But bitch, you just had another baby. Okay, bitch, you just had two babies. You done become a career food stamp. Cutter, the Democrats are saying, listen, just keep having some more babies, ho. We're going to keep getting this food stamp. We go down there and give you $10,000 money and food down. But this is just an agreement. Don't have no nigga in here. Don't have now. We don't want, man, don't do none of this type of shit. Don't put no nigga name on the application. Keep the kid. Nah, that's what the Democrats saying. In order to do this, we go keep giving you this Section 8, this government housing. We go give you. Matter of fact, we can go give him little ugly motherfuckers some milk in the name of Wick. Come on down here every night of day. We go give you these motherfuckers. Coupon vouchers, and you can come to the Kroger's, Winn Dixie, Save a Lot, Walmart, even the Hood Bodega. And you can get milk, eggs, uh, apple juice, orange juice, cranberry juice, pine, all the fruits in the world. Just do as I say as your overseer. Uh, 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 uh. So when you get disabled, listen, come over here and file for disability. And we'll give you lifetime disability, but you can't have no money, no more than this man in your bank account. So, I mean, this is the Democrats saying this. That's why we keep saying, oh, yeah, Ooh, Barack, Barack, Barack. And the Republicans saying, this funky bitch got two babies by two or more men, and she want us to keep helping her fund her irresponsible bitch. This bitch is negligent with her pussy and want us, the government, to help this bitch. You say, who needs some help? Other wells? Hey, yeah, next. Get on. Well, hold on. What you mean? What? What did that at? I don't know. We were f off off the chat line. You fucking up. So just the story. These people for government help. The Democrats saying, I don't care who the baby dad is. It could be whoever. 
We don't care. We just want you over here and do as I say. So that's why we over here and not over here. So you got people pushing this narrative. Well, man, nigga, Trump don't give a damn about the rappers because the rap constituent, he just playing con. He just showing his law-based white folks, hey, like every white person, hey, Every white person want to be the white person to come over here and be with all his white friends and tell them about niggas. Yeah, man, I, I go to school. So the Jewish owners, the basketball player, hey, LeBron, come here, y'all. Hey, watch, I got LeBron for the corner. Remember I told y'all that? So when LeBron, hey, LeBron, this, me, such, 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 such. Then now when LeBron go on, it's just him and his white buddy. That's my LeBron. Boy, I, I'm telling you, man, I know his kid. So every white person want to be, I got the ups on y'all, I got a Every white person want that, my Every want to think he got him a white man, too. And they got to say, boy, I got a rich my mother, white man. Just, yeah. That's the relationship between the black boy and the white boy in America. So, no, nah, my nigga, I understand. One thing you said that always stuck with me, you said this like five years ago. You said that two black men could never come together and make some money. And, and as time goes by, it, you just... It, that statement gets realer and realer every year. Everybody oh. I try to partner with, if I or invest in or try to get some money with, with a nigga, it never works. Oh uh, well, me and you. Yeah, but we don't. But but we don't have to deal with each other every day, though. Yeah, yeah. It, it's different when you got to. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You do your thing. We come together once, maybe twice a month, and you know. But yeah. but with niggas trying to do a, a business together, it's it's really tough. Yeah, well, it's the it's the secret emotions a nigga be feeling. It's the it's the secret emotions that a nigga be feeling, my nigga. So I, I had to tell a nigga this one time, homie. I had to tell my my jeweler. Hey, homie, if we really friends, why you keep reminding me that every time we talk to each other? Hey, bro, bro, listen, bro, you know how we... Nigga, we really partner, nigga. Why you got to keep reminding me? And we been partnered this long? So, niggas will have secret feelings. Oh, uh, your partners will be around you, homie, with, with, with... They'll be hiding secret shit, homie, and you don't even know they feeling that kind of way. Oh. Uh, Homie, you never have to guess what I'm thinking about you. Say, nigga, yeah. Now, today I was saying, man, I don't know if I should tell Sean this, but I think I deserve a raise once I sit down and go, yeah, yo. <laughs> I said, nah, man, don't say that, homie. Just keep it like this, this the nigga, you know. So you secretly rationalize this with yourself. And I'm saying, nah, nigga, fuck you want a raise for, nigga. Fuck you want a raise for. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. I don't mind doing, I don't mind having, giving you a raise though. Don't do that, homie, but I'm just saying, I'm man enough, homie, and real enough as your partner to share my secret thoughts with you. Yeah. Mm. Rather than keeping them to myself and letting it cause a real. You, you see what I'm saying? Because well, I'm saying, nigga, uh, I'm falling out with a lot of platforms because, because of that. Because I'm saying, homie, listen, I've developed a relationship with y'all. And I'm comfortable with us staying here. But nigga, don't make me feel like, you know what I'm saying? And you ain't never made me feel like that. So that's how I can, but everybody I deal with, homie, I'm going to call you and tell you if something bothering me. I ain't going to secretly hold nothing in. And I be praying and hoping my niggas don't either. Mm. If we really niggas. Yeah. Yeah. Um, definitely want to do that Go Yeah Yo situation. Um, that's going to be classic. He's excited about uh, it. I think I think that interview is bigger than, I mean y'all are both from the same place. It's bigger than music, um, and I think you could change his outlook on a lot of things. Yeah, yeah. I, I want to read something to you, homie, uh, because I'm a man that's moved by conviction. Uh, so 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 I talked to that nigga. Uh, so I talked. Me and P had a long talk. He put me on the phone with Corey Gam. Uh, salute to Corey Gamble. Uh, 
It's a struggle, nigga. But let me just stay on topic. So after I talked to him, homie sat back. I know we finna release this interview. Uh, so I said, I did a Say Cheese TV interview four days ago that will be dropping soon. I just called a young brother and told him that I'd do a free interview with him on Monday to speak about the struggles, the challenges, as well as the obstacles and barriers that Gucci and other black CEOs have to face and try to overcome. Like I stated earlier, a nigga in the stands yelling at the players and coaches on the field. God's spirit is one that reveals revelation and gives clarity, sight to the blind. Thank you, my brother, for helping me to see. And you approach the situation with love, compassion, and understanding. Still sharp and still. You see what I'm saying? Now, he called me. He, he could have been, and he don't know if I'm the kind of nigga going to be saying, nigga, fuck that bitch. Because we just really meeting. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but nigga, how you approach the situation to another brother? Seeking to understand. Uh, but knowing, yeah, yeah, nah, homie. So uh, that's how we got to approach uh, each other. And so that's why I'm willing to do the go, yeah, yo, uh, uh, interview. Uh, that's why I ain't. That's why I ain't asking for no raise. But secretly, homie, that's what the other yeah, nigga. All your business partners, homie, see you got a light, my nigga. Niggas want that light too, my nigga. Niggas want that light too. And 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 before for a long time, homie, you was like the Grand Reaper. Your light had no face. Nobody knew what you looked like. Nobody knew who couldn't put a face to the brand. So now you done came into the light. So people who you do business with, nigga, go secretly have some kind of feel because nigga, they want that light, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> it feel good. They want that light, my nigga. Yeah, and I also feel like, <laughs> and everybody knows this that that has a platform because we all talk to each other. Whatever raise that you you want, I feel like you deserve it. And not just say cheese. If if it was a real life, if it was a um uh the Danza project, if it was whatever it is that's that you how do, me and Antoine Daniels fell out, homie. Uh, when I met Antoine, uh, I, I'm saying, okay, I'm a, this, this my new, we brothers. And so, homie, uh, nigga, I gave him a rate, nigga, a five-year-ago rate, and, and it never changed. But, but as I began to grow, uh, I started saying, homie, why you keep posting this? And it's, and it, and it, and it's pitting me against these celebrities. We done already spoke on this. Why we keep pitting me against this? So uh, when I got, when I accepted to, to do the Live Nation tour, and homie, I ain't, I ain't shared this with nobody. I've never, because I, I, I don't want to, homie, if I call you my brother, my nigga, and I bring you to my, like how me and you, I'll never come back and, and speak against you. No matter what happened. Uh, you could hurt me, homie, nigga. I'm going to take the hurt rather than come spew. Uh, yeah, homie, so the nigga, as a brother, as a brother, homie, uh, nigga, I'm finna go to Houston. Live Nation, I already know how Live Nation feel. So he kept bringing the J Prince shit up. So I'm like, homie, that's laugh. Why you keep bringing it up, homie? Now, I done grew past that. So you're gonna keep, and I'm saying, now I got to go to Houston. So you reignite me and shit, homie. And I'm saying, homie, you got way more of the stuff that you can be posting, more positive stuff for the culture. So his response was, Oh, see, I thought you, I thought you stand on it. What? So now, nigga, I, yeah, I stand on it, but also I'm growing too, my nigga. Also, I'm growing too, brother. And as my brother, uh, why you want to keep igniting this fire? And I got to go through this lines then. So yeah, yeah. So homie, uh, and as a brother, I asked him, can you not do that? And, and so I never heard from him again. I never heard from him again, my nigga. So I tell people all the time, my nigga, I'm making money like a motherfucker. But nigga, I'm trying to be a great relationship. Yeah, so I, I yeah, I'm trying to be a great relationship. Uh, so, so that's why, uh, and, and nigga, between me, you, and V, nigga, we done had some shit to, that could break us up. But nigga, ain't nothing broke that up. Yeah. Oh, and <laughs> I, we never spoke on the Memphis situation. You walk, you walked off the uh, the Memphis show. Who? 
You talking about that pistol that, that nigga there? The pistol starter shit, yeah. Was that wait, we never talked was that scripted? We never talked about that. No, nah, that wasn't scripted, homie. That's why if it was scripted, them niggas would be flourishing right now. But it wasn't scripted. And in that little nigga called Pussy, he came back and apologized. But the superior shop, homie, they booked me to come do the podcast. But they thinking I'm the kind of nigga you can give clothes to. So they think they can give me all these free clothes and get no nah, nigga. I ain't think I don't give a fuck about these clothes. Uh, and they think Uncle Weenie. So these are the these are the foreigners, Arabs or whatever, Palestinian, whatever the fuck they are. So they plan on me. They got him there. So when I get there. Hello? Hold on. Uh, so? Uh, listen. Uh, so they plan on the fact that they think I'm a weenie. Uh, you got a um alarm clock as a ringer? No, nah, man, this something to keep calling my phone. I'm like, who keep calling my phone back to back? No, nah, nigga, nigga, don't keep calling my, my man. No, nah, don't call my phone back to back, nigga. You don't know what the fuck I got going on, nigga. Kind of nigga is you? Hey, v, my we nigga, keep what kind of nigga? Man, what kind of nigga is you, my nigga? Nigga don't answer the phone. Don't back to back me like my bitch do me, nigga. You Facts. done started off wrong with me, nigga. <laughs> Facts. I hate nigga, that. Nigga, my shit. bitch do that, nigga. <laughs> Go back to back a nigga. Man, have a nigga worried and scared like she done found something, man. Stop, man, I the nigga tell. <laughs> Man, you know how wrong a nigga be. Man, 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 what she done found out now? Man, God damn. And <laughs> nigga, it's a nigga. Say, bitch ass nigga, what you want? And I'm from sitting on jail. <laughs> and it's a nigga, listen, and it's a business call. This a nigga I done gave my number to because if he calling this phone, I know he's supposed to have this number. But he's calling and say, man, I'm in your town. That's why I said so and hang up. He calls back. So now, whoever this nigga is, whatever bidding, I don't want to do bidding with no nigga like you, nigga. That'll blow a nigga up like this here, nigga. With that whole shit, nigga. Bitch ass, nigga. Hey, V, we got to keep this in there. Yeah, man. Nigga. But let me finish telling you the story. So the, 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 the superior shop, whatever they is, homie, they done set this up. I don't know this. They done set this up to go like this. I'm the dummy don't know. I'm coming in thinking, because I like to do good business, I'm thinking we building, hey, okay, y'all gonna pay me for the podcast, but I ain't gonna take no clothes, but I'll take some clothes. But, so, when I get to the shop, he following me. Saying, oh, man, shit, I used to be, boy, you spending big money, man, buy me something. Say, nigga, you all up on me for it, nigga. So I'm still have to check this nigga because I thought he worked there. So I say he the big friendly sloop for the nigga, out of shape, you know, don't pose no threat. So I, I handle him how I handle him. So when we sit down, in my mind, I'm saying, well, what this nigga here for? The, the Arab dude ain't saying nothing. So I'm saying to myself, that nigga finna try to get, let's get this content. Like, you go give me some clothes, but try to stage a situation to try to make me look like a hoe. I didn't even know my little partner was out there with that pistol. So when the nigga asked the question, it shook them up. But I had saying with me, I had my nigga wine. So they don't know, nigga, we got some niggas with me. We finna tear that bitch up, little old nigga. You just, and, and I got some shit on me that I hurt everybody in this room while I'm by myself. Nigga, you just talking, nigga. So, uh, so, nigga, I went to checking everybody after that, homie. They went to trying to kiss ass. It's a video. They went to all I'm sorry. So, the little pistol nigga said, man, they told me to say that. So, when I checked the Arabs, also, they tried to play like they didn't tell him to do that. But they set that up, homie. So, I'm saying to myself, homie, what kind of niggas will get with these, pal these foreign motherfuckers to try to go against a nigga that's been really represented in the, in the black community, my nigga? Yeah, we've seen that time and time again. It seems like when you do those hood interviews, no, no, this ain't this ain't no hood interview though, homie. It, it be people setting this up mm, for a reaction. 
It be, but now, homie, if some people really want to try to make me look like, try to get me in a situation and say, oh, we got it, we got, we hold him over here. But homie, I'm going to die and somebody going to die in these situations. So that's why the prices go up now. Just talk to me. I keep yeah, you telling my folks they can book me for the killing. <laughs> Nigga, they can book me for a Nigga, I show up to the kill. Yeah, you 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 walked out of three um interviews, I think in like a, a four month period. Yeah. Because because uh you know me, nigga, I don't play. Nigga, yeah. once I see it ain't what that is, no, nah, nigga, uh, I I no, nah, nigga. Do you give the money back? No. I only gave the money back one time. That was the 20 verse one shit. No, nah, I didn't get them back shit. Them was the little niggas in, in St. Louis when I said, hey man, get them nigga back their money. What made you give them back their money? Uh, and not not everybody else. Because only the strong can show compassion for the weak. I knew them was some little weak niggas. Everybody else got some brought me there for ulterior motive. Them little niggas not really didn't have no ulterior motive. They just didn't know what they had. Hmm. And and when I went to St. Louis, May seventeenth, twenty twenty four, them same little niggas came back and said, "Oh man, we sorry, my nigga," because the backlash. Nigga, everybody done done that to me. Nigga, they, they don't, they don't, they ain't one. They look, they ain't one. But everybody who come work with me, fuck with me, nigga, they blow up. Everybody who go against me, they fall to the wayside, my nigga. It's been like that. I don't make the rules. I'm just the vessel that's being used. Hmm. How do you feel when, um, you know, Adam 22 and No Jumper, they use you for content all uh, the time? L uh, Lil Reese and Wack 100 and... Home of these platform can't make it without me because I add value. Whether you put my name in the title, where you say my I add value. But they like hoes that's beckoning, nigga, them hoes choosing. Yeah, nigga, I'm a player, my nigga. I know them hoes choosing, my nigga. I see them hoes over there. Yeah, peek, yeah, peeking. And yeah, man, I see them hoes, my nigga. It's just like a player, nigga. I mean, nigga, I done dressed up looking how I'm looking. Man, I see them hoes. I heard them hoes. Them hoes choosing. They got their choosing shoes on. And he did what he said. What uh, Charleston and, and Flacco made up. We didn't make up. I listened to that nigga eat. Yeah, I listened, I listened to that nigga bow down. I listened to that nigga bow down, nigga. All y'all gonna have to bow, nigga. Because I ain't done nothing wrong. I've been standing with the righteous. He had to bow down, son. I'm sorry. Can we be friends? Maybe you can come up. No, we can't, nigga. No, we can't, nigga. No, no. So now no jumper think, oh, I can, no, no, we can't, nigga. No, we can't, nigga. Never, nigga. Keep it like it is. Keep it like it is. But I know them whole children. I don't know them whole want me. You know what I, do you know what a Charleston White will do for that hoe? Hmm. Do you know what it'll do for that hoe? And that whole ass brand over there, they got, come on, my nigga, they begging for it. They been begging for it for years, Sean. I won't give it to them. I ain't easy. Lil Reese kind of gave you your credit, though. He said he said you bought that life. Oh, uh, because when he was in jail, didn't he do time in Texas? Yeah. He, he wasn't about that life. He wasn't about that life in jail. And we ain't gonna go get them niggas that they can bring the receipts. He wasn't getting bullied, he wasn't getting picked on, but nigga, he wasn't, he wasn't, that Chicago shit wasn't working to for him too out here. So once you've been humble like that, my nigga, you gotta come talk different. You can't still say, man, fuck that crackhead, woo, 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 because what done happened, you done went into a Texas institution, and them niggas done told you about little C nut, nigga. Them niggas done told you, nah, homie, that little nigga really, nah, they done told you about little C nut, nigga. Why you think that little nigga talk the way he talk, nigga, and get off the plane with no security, nigga? No security, nigga. I ain't tough, nigga. I keep telling y'all, nigga, I'm really Michael Jackson bad. Last thing, man. Um, I mean, Fulio just passed away. And um, he didn't go to heaven. I wish I could preach his funeral. Boy, I wish I could stand over that motherfucking casket and everybody know say. If all that's going to hell, this motherfucker right here going to hell. He already there, y'all. There's no due process. His, this motherfucker here died for his toe took his last shake. He was in hell. God sent 
me to tell y'all that whoever this fool is laying right here, Julio, Fulio, listen to the name. Fulio. And the Bible describes the fool, nigga, as being in danger of hell fire. Do you think the drill rap, do you think it will ever die out? Do you think? Yeah, I killed it. Yeah, yeah, I killed it. Yeah, I killed drill rap. These niggas just angry rapping now. Yeah, nah, I killed drill rap. Hmm. <laughs> just angry rapping. They just angry, angry broke rapping now. This is the, this is the old nigga in the house who can't get no job. He done fucked up and got a felony. He late in the 30s. He mean in a motherfucker in the household. That's what the rapping nigga is now. He done realize I done fucked up. I once had the light. Man, the Quando Rondo, the Go Yeah, they realized they done fucked up. And they thought this light was gonna be bright forever. But nigga, they was doing things, my nigga, to dim the light. Nigga, they were hurting people, nigga, to dim them lights, nigga. I ain't hurt nobody, nigga. Sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. And, and congratulations to, uh, your show last night. Yeah, man. Uh, first time performing at home. Uh, last night was my 100th comedy show. Yeah, V said, mm, yeah, 100 shows, man. And I came back home. Uh, my mother got to see me perform for the first time. Cause remember, at your show, she came to the end. Mm. Uh, uh, you had a different feeling because. Nigga, you hope for the best, nigga. Yeah, the one that said. Yeah, I'm gonna talk into it, but we finna go. I'm too passionate in this interview. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but nigga, I was hoping for the worst. Uh, I didn't want to perform at home, homie. These are people that hated on me. They talked about me, nigga. Everybody know I ain't no snitch in this town. But they let me play snitch. Let people call me snitch. And nigga, I ain't no, they know. Nigga, this town know what I did. So nah, homie, I, I, I wanted to be mean. Uh, I wanted to be like Joseph in the Bible. When his brothers had to come back to him. And he had to go back. See, Joseph's brothers didn't know that that was Joseph and his brothers had sold him into slavery and told their father that he was dead. And it was a famine in the land and now Joseph's done been risen to have power and he can help the people, his brothers. But his brothers don't know this Joseph. But Joseph know them, his brothers who sold him to slavery. And he wanted to get back. And nigga, he went to the back and thought and prayed and meditated. And he didn't get back. So yeah, nigga, I want to get back. Fuck you, bitch ass. Yeah, look at me now, nigga. You bitch ass. I want to get back. Uh, but yeah, nigga, they came out and supported. Uh, the white people was looking like, man, the tickets ain't moving online. Uh, well, to go get the tickets is too discouraging. The process that they get to get my tickets, homie, is very discouraging. Uh, and it's frustrating. So, nigga, man, fuck that shit. So, yeah, they go, but nigga, they came to the door and got them bitches. Yeah, 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 nah. So at the end of the night, everybody was smiling, uh, including me. Uh, nobody expected me to be this good on stage. Nobody. Uh, but on their hand, few. Uh, yeah, you say cheese was one of them. Yeah. Man, I appreciate you, man. Until next time, be safe. Already, my nigga.